In this video, we'll take a look at a situation if your phone is stuck in transitional firmware, meaning you attempted to migrate from enterprise over to MPP using an older method. And we're going to take a look at the current status of the phone. So we're going to go down to status product information. If you notice that the firmware the phone has is labeled as TLEX E2M. So that's a transitional firmware. This is an older method of doing firmware migrations. In any case, I'm going to show you how to recover the phone using a local TFTP in case you had phones left over from past times that were stuck in the state on the transitional firmware. So let's take a look at the settings. Okay, what we're going to what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the phone's IP address. We're, we're going to need to actually web into the phone itself to migrate it back over to enterprise firmware for recovery. Okay, the phone's at dot .42, okay. Okay, and then on my PC, I'm going to make sure that I have the enterprise firmware 12-8-1. I'm going to copy the downloads file. We're going to log in as admin to the phone, advanced. We're going to go to the voice tab, provisioning tab. And then we're going to go in and find the upgrade enable, the firmware section. And then also we're going to enter in for the upgrade rule. TFTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of our TFTP server forward slash and paste in the downloads name. We're going to bring up the TFTP server to the foreground and then we're going to submit all changes. And we should see activity fairly quickly here, typically within a few seconds. Uh, if you are seeing no activity and you're hitting the minute, two minute mark, definitely there's something wrong. So you probably want to take a look at number one, can you ping the phone from the PC? Number two, verify that firewall is not enabled on a PC, Windows firewall, or if you have a third-party security software that's acting as a firewall, so you want to make sure allow TFTP. The firmware migration process, we're migrating this back to enterprise firmware to recover the phone from being stuck in a transitional firmware. It's going to take about four and a half to five minutes. And once the firmware migration back is completed, the phone will actually reboot and will be running enterprise firmware 12.8.1. I have other videos they show you how to do the firmware migration using the new method, meaning that you no longer are using the transitional firmware. So I'll put some links in the bottom of this description of the video for the WebEx firmware migration using WebEx Control Hub. Also, there's other methods um, if you're doing classic licensing for the firmware migration, which typically is third-party call controller, meaning you not necessarily using WebEx calling, but perhaps uh, lab servers, open source SIP server, or third-party. Um, or you can be a com using combination both. That would be classic licensing, which does require purchase of licensing. And going back to the discussion of the firmware migration, so the new method, the way the firmware migration works is the phone is bumped up to enterprise firmware 14.1 parentheses 1, and then from there it's directly migrated over to 11.3.6. As of the recording of this video, that's actually what WebEx calling is using. And we're going to give it a few more moments here to complete. This uh, same method you would use pretty much for any of the phones that would be stuck in the transitional firmware. So I am showing a speaker phone here, 8832, but the same concept would apply to the other phones. Just make sure you download the appropriate enterprise binaries depending which model or series of phones you have. And by the way, this is done in clear text, so if you need to troubleshoot this, you can use the Log Viewer as we are, or you can use Wireshark. It's fairly easy from a troubleshooting standpoint. 
Okay, now looking back at the phone itself, it's indicating firmer operating progress. And the phone's going to go to reboot. The reboot's about a minute and a half to two minutes. In any case, going back to the discussion, so um, you definitely want to download the proper enterprise firmware for the model phone you have or series of phone. Um, generally, it has to be below 14 because specifically with 14.1.1, it does not support the transitional firmware. But let's go and see what the phone currently has. So we're going to go under settings, system information, and then we're going to scroll down a tad, and we have Enterprise Firmware 12-8-1. So this point of time, you'd probably want to view one of the other videos, depending which pathway you're taking for the firmware migration. Thank you for viewing this video. Hopefully it helps you.